What's up guys, it's Z and uh, today's footage of the Sinhari Overlord is going to be a very short one because my Overlord started at 4am. Typically I would sleep a little bit and then wake up but I would actually, like the last Overlord, I couldn't wake up at all. So what I did was I worked all the way till 3.30 a.m., got home around 3.45, 3.50, and I made it to Overlord to record for you guys. I only played for about an hour because I was just so tired from work. But I'm just going to show you some footages of when I was there. I tested out Jason and Cabin because I finally did get my Cabin 120. I've always wanted to try this combo and I've always wondered why bigger players didn't try it. To me, it kind of made sense. If you put a little bit more infantry, then Jason's skill would work out. This is my first attempt with it. It was a really good attempt, but he has really bad stats and he has the wrong heroes on the wall. So I feel like this is... You can't really tell from this report. Plus, he didn't have any T11s, but I did. Um, I did specifically pick this guy because I felt like his profile was very bad for an L1 as well. So that's why I wanted to show you that part. And then for this Overlord, we did try Huamulan and Cabin in the palace, and they killed it. But you guys already know that because Huamulan, you know, just like any new hero that comes out. It's um, uh, typically very overpowered every single time a new hero comes out and with her skill, uh, the chance to attack again. Remember how in my last video I said that I wasn't sure what to attack with like if she's defending, I'm not sure what you should attack with, and if she's attacking, I'm not sure what you should defend with. I still don't know what you can defend with just yet until the next KBK when I see her a little bit more. But with this Overlord, when she's defending the Sinhari Palace, I, the statue I mean, I've noticed that... <clears throat> I think it's like within her coding or within that hero coding that since it is times two able to attack again, all you really need to do is have maybe two times infantry players that are really strong in your kingdom, such as, you know, Beige Gideon, Jason Gideon, or just double Beige Gideon players, your richest players in the kingdom, follow their rallies, do times two, and you should be able to knock, like, Huamalan out very easily just for everyone who wants to know because I did notice and you're going to see throughout the footage that like we did get knocked off with a Bijan Gideon player and you see that number two guy right there Geo he did knock us out and he has pretty good stats so good job to you so let's say you don't have two Bijan Gideon players in your kingdom that has really good stats then I would suggest just do um I would say like just do extra rallies because the more the better. But infantry, I know with Wamalan, it seems like the battle logic is completely off. She kills infantry so easily, which she does. She really does. But you have to understand that within her coding, since she can attack again, then it's like, you know, I'm not a coder or anything, but it's kind of like math, right? It's like if it's double, then you just gotta do double back or even more than double to so like quadruple. So hit a times four infantry with the battle logic or however you call it, and it should work. But I didn't notice um, that a lot of people don't use any more T10s in front. I feel myself that it does make a slight difference, but even if you don't use T10 in front now that I've seen, and just using T11 straight, it's it's okay too. Like it still knocks out like just like before the battle logic. I'm just showing you some reports of how uh, we defended with Huamulan and what came at us. So far, I feel like the Jason and Shrek combo coming at us was the weakest of them all. I wouldn't suggest you using that. So, um, yeah. By far, I think those that combo works really well when you defend in your castle if you have really good stats. But as far as attacking with Jason and Shrek, aka Ogid, if you guys are new to my channel, I call him Shrek. He just looks like an ogre to me, so I call him Shrek. But yeah, I just don't feel like he's... the, uh, the That pair is very good at attacking. Me off guard 
All of my friends said you moved out west You tell me stories underneath sunsets Could it be more than just one night? Kissing the cab right, head turning left track Get a ticket for two to wherever you choose Drinking some red out of the blue You say my name with your accent Makes me remember how much I missed you Hope you're planning to stay for a minute Someone that was a little bit lower powered. She's 24 million power, so I can solo her and take out some of her troops so she can't join the rally. And that's a really important tactic. When you know that there's a kingdom that's number two, try to take out their players because then if they're out of troops, they won't be able to join any more rallies. And here is my second attempt at trying Jason and Kevin to see if it's worth it or not, or if I should just not use it like everyone else. And let's see how it goes. And failed, but didn't fail too bad. I will hit 191,000 and she killed 231,000. It looks like I killed all the rear archers because I had that rush attack skill inside cabin. So it wasn't too bad. She didn't have that many archers inside her castle to for me to really judge because cavalry is supposed to hit the rear anyways, which is, you know, the archers um, and the war machines. So since she didn't have many backline like Archer's War Machines, I can't really tell with that report how well it would have been until I find a castle that has a lot of backline that I can attack with Jason and Cabin. So my rating for Jason and Cabin, I feel like it's not too bad. I, you know, because they are two gold heroes and you are trying to put T10 infantry in front. And yeah, so... I will definitely keep my skill books in it and try again this next KVK to see if I really like it. If I really don't like it at all, then I'll probably go back to Cabin and Adarin, which is what every, you know, big player does. But I just want to try something different, you know, because I, like I said to you guys, I did focus on my heroes a lot and I do want to mix match them just so I can see myself. Uh, yeah, for the rest of these, this video, um, I think that's all that I soloed with during my time that I was awake. The rest of the video is basically just the Overlord and I'll just kind of briefly tell you the results from what I've asked my closest friend in the game. Uh, so we did win Overlord, so yay us! Uh, but it was actually very hard because I heard that when I went to bed there were a lot more bigger players that had Hua Milan, that had Beige Gideon, you know, all that stuff, Eritra Kanoa. And what we had to do to win was every single time they put like, let's say, infantry, we just had a counter with archers. When they put cavalry, we countered with infantry. So the battle logic may not fully be there but it is somewhat there when it comes to countering and it does make it more fun a little bit than just using you know infantry infantry for everything uh yeah just enjoy the rest of this video i'm just reinforcing some players and the reason why you know my preset number four 
to join in rallies with infantry does not have Magnari is because I typically like to save Magnari for this reason right here that's showing in the video. I like to reinforce my teammates with even more troops so that's why you saw that I was able to hit 300,000 troops reinforcing my friend. But I hope you guys had a good overlord and enjoy the rest of this video's overlord. Alright, but yeah. Enjoy it. See you next time. Thank you again for watching. Could you be here with me forever? Ever, ever. Would you be here with me forever? Ever, ever. Waking up all alone ain't better, better. Every time I go the wrong way, you turn me back around Turn me back like, whoa, 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 oh, 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 Forever, ever, ever, ever Do you wanna look at me forever, ever, ever Yeah, do you see us in Vegas pushing a Monte Carlo? Bet that money on baby, bet she don't leave me on no See them he wears in the desert, look like a lake in the sand Would you watch the sun burn now we're made forever, ever, ever, ever You still intimidate me, keep me up on my toes now Better man what you made me, made me aware of what I was missing Been missing the way you give me envision, babe Never thought I'd settle down, reckon I lied to myself I was busy focusing on being by myself Set my feelings to the side, they all got dusty on a shelf You wiped them down when I had nothing left Could you be here with me forever, ever, ever Would you be here with me forever, ever, ever Waking up all alone ain't better, better, better Every time I go the wrong way, you turn me back around Turn me back like, whoa, 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 whoa. Give me forever, ever, ever When you asked me if I cheated, I said never What are you willing to do to stay together? How many times we gonna break up for the summer? How many times we gonna try to come